okay, so you want to talk about some stuff from last game here while we're waiting? Um, sure, are there any questions from the chat or just in general? Uh, let's see, uh... Okay, so the Ezreal build. Okay, so... I actually play a decent amount of APS. I used to play him... Um, a lot. He was my favorite champ. Two and a half years ago. Which is a long time, I realize. Um, but... The thing with him is... He's really not effective... Until he's gotten... Two AP items... Um, or at least one, if he gets one pretty early, like a NLR, he can be effective then, but late game, he's crazy, but early game, he has a lot of trouble. And if you build mana early rather than AP, he's really underwhelming. He's really underwhelming. He's just not doing the damage. Yeah, he can cast more spells over time, but. He doesn't have that burst. And if you want to get a gank or something, you either need to be really bursty or have your own CC. Um, or jungler's not going to come gank for you. Because you just... Or unless their laner's really, really low. And the jungler can just come in and finish. Um, but in general, that shouldn't really be happening. But in general, a jungler's not going to come for you unless they can CC and you can burst. Or you can add to the CC, and then you can just CC lock for a second while you kill them. So you really, really need that. If you can get an early NLR, or even just an early Blasting Wand, go straight into a hat. I would say, depending on who your lane match is, is get a hat or Zonius first. Um, if you're against AD, obviously get Zonius. And then, after that, if you really feel like you're really having trouble with mana, then grab a Morella Nomicon. It gives you more AP, it costs less. Um, but you should be getting blue anyways. So, yeah. That's why we didn't really like the Ezreal build. Were there more... Let me... I don't have chat up, so... Uh, let me pull that up. Were there any questions? I'm just not pulling it up. Are there any questions from before? Um, that won't show up for me. No, 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 there are questions right now, no. Okay. So, other than that, um, at the end, I think it was, blue team was winning pretty much the whole time. At the end, they got pretty sloppy, just not really focusing. Um, I got confused because I, I pulled the stream up and then you asked me again. You said again, no other questions right now, no. And I was like, what? Oh, that's old you talk. Um, okay, the Renekton build. I don't really remember how it ended, but I really liked how it started. Um, getting the early Hex Drinker into... Maul was a really, really, really good decision. And then I like... Um, ra I like Randuin's because it gives you armor and health and you were grouping with your team, so that was really good. If you weren't... If you weren't... Uh, if you weren't grouping as a team, I would have, I think, rather seen a Sunfire. It's really good on Renekton since he it likes to push a lot and then pressure... But you were grouping a lot, so Randwin's definitely better for team fights. Um, yeah, and then I did. Okay, Spirit Visage. Yeah, that's perfect. Ma Randwin Spirit Visage is perfect because uh, Spirit Visage gives him cooldown reduction, helps his healing, and um, gives him magic resistance. So perfect build. You're playing really, really well in lane too. Um, you could have farmed a little bit better, especially at the very beginning, but you played really, you played the game really well. Uh, for Blue's team play, um, can you hear my son? Is he... Have her? Yeah. You can? Just a little bit, don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, Blue's team play was... 
um, good uh, throughout. Uh, at the end, there was actually a lot of issues, though. I think it just got sloppy once you knew you were going to win. But you should have just grouped and and taken objectives like um, take the the inner turrets are obviously outer turrets are, you already had all down. There were two inner turrets left and the inhibitor turrets. The inhib inner turrets are pretty easy to take. Um, you could have taken those because you're so much stronger. Sometimes it can be a little scary to dive inhibitor turrets, um, especially with their slow and stuff. Uh, but I would have just gotten the inner turrets and then gone warded around Baron, controlled the Baron, and then either faked or forced or just taken Baron, and then go uh, just around and take out all the inhibs and win the game. But Or if you went for one and they tried to stop you, you would have probably aced them and then just won. So. Yeah, Seager, if you want to get down into spectate. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, now we're filling up. Um, was that a bad call for Red to call for Baron? Red was out of the game already. Uh, Baron was a saving, a last hope. I don't think it was a bad call. But, I'm... Uh, I don't know. I don't think it was bad because it, it, if it were an even game, it, was a, it would have been a bad call. But it wasn't an even game and you were going to lose if you didn't get Baron. So I thought it was good to go for Baron. If Rumble had helped, it might have worked out. Mm -hmm. um, I can't say 100% sure it would have. It may have had the same result. But you need you were in a desperate situation. You need to do something desperate. Better to do something desperate than to just slowly die. So, yeah, just waiting for one more guy here before we get into the next game, guys. Once again, thank you everyone for signing up. Um, to play this morning. I didn't expect we get this many people. There are currently 48, 40, 46 people signed up for this morning. Uh, obviously, we're not going to be able to get to you all this morning, uh, so we'll keep the names up here for uh, next week or any in-houses that we do. Uh, but, you know, if you are one of the people that do come in here this morning and are playing, please go back, watch the VODs. The whole reason we do this is so you can uh, watch to see what you did wrong and improve your game. If you're not doing that, you know, you might as well just be playing a solo queue game. So, uh, we do have everyone in here. We'll get started up. I'm ready. Alright. I'll say it again. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Son of a biscuit. Oh, oh, oh. Shaysa. Well, remake. Yeah, a couple of the AOE ults like um, only hit one person. Like one time, one I think uh, Oreo only hit Sona, and one time a an Amumu ult only hit Caitlyn. Um, which, if you only kill Sona with an AOE ult in a close game, that's a problem. But at that point, you're so far ahead, it didn't matter. AOE ults. Obviously, you want to hit five people, but if you can hit two, 
carries or a carry and one other person or three of the non-carries, that's good. But if you only hit one carry, it's fine as long as you're undoubtedly getting the kill. Um, but... You don't want to. You don't want to uh, trade an AOE ult at a team fight time. I I I'm, I guess I sh I'm not 100 percent sure about this, but I would say I wouldn't want to trade an AOE ult when a team fight is imminent just for a carry's flash. Yes, the flash is more valuable in general, but if if they're able to engage after that, you're going to be screwed. Um, But definitely, you don't want to just trade it for like an Ezreal E or something, an AoE ult. Don't. So, and the, gen the general rule of thumb, don't use an AoE ult on a single person unless it's a, a carry who you're definitely going to kill. Okay, that was my bad. <laughs> I don't know, I I just don't look at it sometimes. I just assume that League is going to cooperate with me. Okay, we're good. Are you still there? Yep. Okay. Just, Just got eerily quiet there for a second. Yeah, I muted my mic. <laughs> um, my family's going to the park for a, for a little bit. Oh, fun. Yeah. Um, guys, this is Bronze Boot Camp Game Two here this morning, second iteration because I'm an idiot. Uh, boy, this is all done through the Trinity Force Podcast. If you want to check them out, go to their website trinityforcepodcast.com. We got plenty of different podcasts there available. Whether you're into uh, the game or to the LCS, um, yeah, plenty of stuff there. If you're looking to find something new, I guarantee you'll find it. Uh, man, <laughs> brain is kind of wandering here. This is Bronze Boot Camp. It is a game, uh, invented sort of to let players improve their game just by watching. So you come in, you play a game, we'll comment on it, we'll have the videos uploaded to YouTube so you can, uh, watch them once we're done. They'll be uploaded here, uh, by the afternoon. So that yeah, being make said, sure you go back and watch them. Yes, please do that. And without my mind wandering too much here, let's get into picks and bans. Okay, bans all are fine. I mean, every once in a while we get some random bans, but we haven't had any in like the last three weeks. It feels like. Well, Zareth ban. Yeah, but Katarina he's played. As well. Kat everyone hates Katarina. Yeah, and, and then Kali, you know. Like, she's the same thing. I don't think she's worthy of like the ban prison anymore since the changes. 
Yeah, but I bet Mad MSK is going to pick mid and just ban three the people mid, he doesn't like to bands? play against. Really? <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, the problem with going like doing that is you leave open a lot of extra stuff for the enemy team to pick, especially like when you, they do have <laughs> first pick. It's, that's so weird. Yeah, it's like you get first pick and you pick Greg. <laughs> yeah, Gragas is like the lowest rated and lowest rated in mid. I think he's still pretty low rated for top two. He does get Ari though. Yeah, so my that's guess another is another thing. He's just like, Hey, I can't play Ari against Zareth, Katarina, and Kali, but if I don't have to play against them, I will carry this game. Bands were democratic, really? No way. I don't believe that. I think um, Mad Max is about as democratic as Russia's coup. government. Yeah. <laughs> Bullshit. It's democratic. Democratic dictatorship. Especially if you're picking Ari. Do you really need to ban three other mid laners when you're playing the best mid laner right now? <laughs> Statistically, the best mid laner. <laughs> maybe he's uh, maybe he's just like you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna carry he's and so yeah I just love the can we ban Jana oh you said a Kali right yeah we can ban <laughs> exactly oh uh, okay so on the other side besides Greg is Ezreal getting locked in along with Nautilus um I'll be interested to see if it's an AD carry Ezreal. If it is, I don't like picking like Ezreal before you see the uh, other side. Because Just because of how aggressive uh, bottom lane has become, it's really easy to counter pick in Ezreal. Like Graves. Like Graves or Corky kind of, but Draven especially. Yeah, Graves and Draven are really good counters for... Um... <laughs> And it's not like there's that many like hard counters sure. on the bottom lane, but Ezreal definitely has them. Yeah. Um. No. Yeah. So, we'll see. It depends what the next couple locks in here are. It still could be another mid lane Ezreal. It could also be locking in a Syndra for the jungle. Does that actually work? Cinder Jungle? Yeah. Um I haven't I haven't seen it. Yeah. It, it, I don't know. We're about to find out. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> and I'm surprised no one's been picking Nidalee. Lance first said in chat he's uh he almost picked Irelia, but he's glad he went to Croc now. Um I played Irelia for the first time today. I played her twice. Really? She's, she's pretty strong. She is. You I know, got a skin on her because it was on sale for like 260 cents or whatever. Yeah, there you go. So, Peaks. It looks like it is going to be bot lane Ezreal, but it's also going to be mid lane Azir. Which I think actually does fairly well against Ari, if I am remembering right. Okay. Um, so, the Syndra jungle, this is what I'm thinking. And I don't play Syndra, and I've never seen Syndra jungle, but this is what I'm thinking. She's going to be fine on her first thing, assuming she gets a good leash. Her second thing is going to take her a while, because she doesn't have, like... Her auto attacks aren't going to be doing a lot, but her ability to throw big minions for extra effects, I'm not sure all what they do, but I'm pretty sure she can throw, like, blue buff, and it does an additional effect. I don't think so. I I don't remember hearing that before. I'm going to look it up. Okay. <sighs> um, we'll but Ganking from her would be very powerful, I think. Yeah, I just feel like her clear time initially will be really slow, but... Mm hmm. I mean, you uh, do have. She yeah. should have fewer problems like doing razor beaks. But other than that, I don't know. This is. It'll be interesting to see. 
I'll be looking for a jungle execute. Uh, okay, so besides that, top lane matchup is going to be uh, Aurelia versus Gragas. Both uh, more of that tanky bruiser, one AP, one AD. Uh, both have fairly well good sustain in lane. Yeah, I'll be interested. I was wrong about the additional effects. Yeah. You're right. I'll be interested to see how this top lane matchup works. Like I, th I think this will be more in the favor of Gragas, but I could be wrong. Okay. Yeah. Who's he playing against? Gragas, Aurelia. Like I think a lot of this game is going to come down to just Ari hard carrying. Yeah. Um, I just feel like Gragas is so weak right now, and yeah. Aurelia is so strong. Yeah, that's true. I guess it's from Gragas, just, I'm definitely a grabbing Aroa early. Yeah. Because he can... um. Because she does true damage, so you want health. She does flat true damage, so you want health. Mm -hmm. And so Roa, yeah, yeah, Roa is just a good top lane item. So that'll be an interesting matchup. Um, Nas, nice. one of the most heavily uh, crowd control, champ, crowd controlling champions in the game. Okay, he did so, have a slow early clear though. Yeah. So I'm going to talk a little about like pure statistics here. Like for Aurelia, she's the top rated uh top laner with the current patch. Her win rate against Gragas is 56.69%. Yeah. Uh, Gragas is just too weak right now. Yeah. Do you want to know the top laner with the highest overall per win percentage though? It's Heimerdinger. <laughs> is it? <laughs> it's Yeah, just cuz he's a dick. And who plays him? He is a dick in top lane. Yeah, the highest win rate, like, comp you want to run would be Heimerdinger top, Nidalee jungle, Ari mid, Sivir AD carry, and brand support. I love going new new against Heimerdinger as a jungler. Yeah. And I just gank his lane and smite one turret and eat the other one. <laughs> <laughs> so awesome. Looking at, uh, like... Champion ranking changes from the last patch for most improved. Top lane, it's Nidalee. Jungle, it's Nidalee. Middle, it's Nidalee. Yeah, she's carry, no it's and Support is actually Vigar. That's funny. Nidalee got really strong in the jungle now, and she's, yeah. too, she's too good. She, like, you, they didn't have to change much to really make it, to push it over the top. Yeah. That's the Aurelia skin I have. Cool. Oh, Aviator, really. The, the splash art's really good. I like the updated splash art from China. Yeah. So other skins here. Aviator, Aurelia, Ice Toboggan, Corky, Not That's Connected. Not Connected. Um, strong skin. Can definitely it, affect the outcome of a game. Not Connected. Who is that? Oh, Syndra? Yeah. Not Connected Syndra is a good skin. Yeah. It's just so much power you can't even see her. Exactly. Versus well, Santa they have four skins. Gragas, Astronautilus, Champ Thresh, and Galactic Azir. Yeah, it's going to be hard. I, I, would, I would still give it to the not connected skin just because of, um, you know, it, it looks really nice. It is fairly common skin to see, though. Like I, I, I go like one in ten gains at least where there's one at least non connected skin. Yeah. I say that blue team has four skins, and then I looked at Galactic Azir. Just going to leave yeah. that there. I, are you saying it's not a very good skin? No, I'm just saying four skin, Galactic Azir. Kind of looks like he... All right, never mind. That's kind of a... You're, stre <laughs> you're stretching it. <laughs> it's stretchable. Oh, God. Man. Um... <laughs> As soon as I said that, I knew. I'm like, nope, nope. That's definitely an innuendo. Shit. <laughs> well, was, I'm a bad person. Okay. Um, <laughs> we'll be loading in here anytime soon, and we can start talking. <laughs> yes, soon. Um, okay, it is just a base Syndra skin. Yeah. I didn't know you could change it. Well, in the loading screen. Yeah, I guess so. 
I think Subject 18 was a cool name. But it's probably from something that I'm not familiar with. I don't know. To the Google. Yep. I know how to use the Google on, like, John McCain. Oh, we're in game. Never mind. That'll have to wait. Okay. <laughs> So, now we are in game. Overlay is correct. People lined up. No, I'm still working on that here. Me too. Alright. There we go. I won. One out of 30 or something. Two out of 15. I don't know. Anyways, um, that toboggan is just flying. It looks like it's going so... Oh, it is going so fast because he has a speed boost. I was like, that skin yeah. gets a speed boost. <laughs> Summoner's Rift. Up okay. in this motherfucker. It look, I like that skin. That's a good skin. It just looks like it moves so fast. Yeah. It's his mustache blowing back in the wind and stuff. I need to grow a mustache like that. Okay, so... so runes for Aurelia. Let's see. A summoner has disconnected. Oh. Nope. Oh no. Oh, is this the same? Yeah, it's this the not connected Syndra. Was, it, was she? Was it No Caps who was disconnecting a ton last time we played? Oh yeah, it was. Um. Uh... I keep forgetting that. Maybe we should put like a temporary ban on No Caps. <laughs> yeah. Okay. His computer, I think he said his computer just randomly shuts down. Um, he asked me last time, should I play? If my computer's been randomly shut down, I said probably not. And then he played anyways. They I just, that. I just, I just wanted attention. validation. Uh, okay. So <laughs> yeah, starting... exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Both top laners going for the flask. Which is probably the probably the best start, I think. It's hard to build defensively for either one to start out. I mean, Gragas possibly could have gone with the door and shield, but I think the flask still would have been better. And, uh, I mean, Aurelia, I suppose, could have gone the Doran's blade, but going with the teleport, it's, it's just going to be more of like a farming lane for the first few levels. Mm-hmm. Other than that, uh, okay, Thresh going your route, going the coin. Uh, you know, I, s I people still, suck at it. that's not a good reason though, you know it. Mm -hmm. Like the item itself is just better for Thresh to get, you know, more tanky stats. If yeah, you're you already going the, like, you you'll eventually get, um, the, your movement speed boots usually like right away after you get your sight stone and I mean by that point you don't need the coin it's better to have a little bit more tanky stats because you are like a pseudo frontliner yeah don't agree with the mana pot for Aurelio or Ari with Ari, it makes sense because you have your passive to sustain. It's like that, a lot of that with um, people who have like uh, spell steal or some sort of heal in part of their kit. If you have the mana to use it, like with Sona or uh, some yeah. uh, unicorn lady, Chiquita Banana, it works. Oh, they unbossed uh, it. What about Aurelia, though? Aurelia, yeah, it is kind of... N it's not bad, essentially, but yeah, I probably could have been fine just going the health pots and the flask rather than the extra mana pot. Okay. Did you? Are you seeing what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I have chat turned off. Should I have it turned on? No. Okay, what are you seeing? Um... What's, what time are you at? At uh, 57. Is that?
Oh. Okay. I, I understand now. I pushed a button and it rewound, apparently. So I thought she reconnected and disconnected again. Oh. I was like, um, he's acting like it's not, nothing's going on. I'm so confused. So I don't think we actually get a chance to really talk about many of these lanes here. Uh, bottom lane matchup with Corky and uh, Brom versus Ezreal and Thresh. I would have liked that lane a lot more if it were Corky, Leona. Yeah. But um, like it would, I would say, I mean Thresh can counter Leona, but most people aren't able to do that, uh, especially in lower levels. But Leona's so good with Corky, mm -hmm. and Corky's good against Ezreal. Yeah, it's an so. odd combination to be running Brom and Corky. Yeah, because he has an auto attack. It, yeah, it doesn't mean it it can't work. A summoner has reconnected. But you know, Brom has to be fairly aggressive, and it's possible he can get punished by that, depending on how many minions are around and how much Ezreal is able to get off. But Brom is going for potion start. So he'll be able to take plenty of harass. Yeah. And that and his uh, he'll have his um, shield target. Right, we got thirty seconds until minion spawn. So he'll be he can afford to be a little bit more uh, aggressive. There, there's the word aggressive. Aggressive, be be aggressive. <laughs> be aggressive. Whoa, that bird. There's a bird? Yeah. Azir. Oh, shit, I gotta see the bird. Oh, doing his pigeon thing. Minions have spawned! So What's your time right now? 1.40. Okay, good. A summoner has okay. Oh, for shit's sake. We need to redo this game without him. This is, it happened all yesterday. I mean, last week. Mm -hmm. Hmm. What's the chat consensus? Nothing they just said. Yeah, no caps, you gotta get your stuff fixed, man. <sighs> so what, we just restart the game then? Get a new person. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just, I'm trying to talk to someone. I'm not sure if they're seeing what I'm saying. Okay, this is true. You need <laughs> tsunami is filling us in. What is he saying? He says his computer is having problems. He um, cracked his hard drive because he raged in a game. That takes some dedication. If it's a laptop, you know, maybe. If it's a desktop and you cracked your hard drive. <laughs> holy crap. Rage kills. Yeah, man. That's... If that is true... <laughs> Okay, so I think what we're going to do here, talk to people in game, get them to leave the game, we'll restart, we'll get a new lobby set up.
So we'll have the same people, except we're going to need a new mid laner. <laughs> Jungler, actually. Oh yeah, it was, yeah, it was a jungle Syndra. How could I forget? Okay, make sure we're going tournament draft. Did they get the message to remake? Because Syndra came back. Oh. If she just—I told someone if she deceded DCs again to restart, but okay. Well, let me. Spectate. I doubt they will. I mean, I, I, I bet she's going to DC again. Yeah, I can jump back into spectator for the time being. Are, are they in a game? Hmm. Are the people in a game still? I, I I don't know. I I guess so. Oh, I thought you could check since you jumped out of spectator. <laughs> I'm coming back. <laughs> Something really funny happens. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I text uh, the only person I'm friends with right now, I think. I think. I might be wrong about this. One of the only people I'm friends with, besides No Caps himself, is Rick Tater. So I messaged Rick Tater and I said, hey, did, did she come back? If she DCs again, remake. And he, he replied, yeah, but he put it in reply all <laughs> instead of to me. So I saw it in the in-game chat. <laughs> That's funny. He put in in-game chat backslash message. Seagrove, yeah. Okay, so uh, we're into this game for the moment. So I'm going to give Syndra about another minute and a half till it DCs. Yeah. At best. Um... Aureli, you're taking a lot of damage by being out there. You're n a minion isn't going to die. You're not going to lose any CS. At most, you're going to lose one. Just back off yeah, there. Gragas is just doing a really good job of harassing. Um, and when he has that AoE to clear a wave, you got to you know respect that. You maybe shove the tower yeah. initially. You'll catch up. Mm -hmm. Just give um, some time. Nautilus is looking like he wants to dive it's really hard to dive level three. Oh, hold on nope never mind you're hoping since was gonna die yeah i heard that ping i'm like oh it's gonna happen it's gonna happen no such luck okay don't do it there it is well played yeah very well played a little messy but yeah, gets, gets the job done. It's hard to. Mm -hmm. okay. So yeah. same thing in the bottom lane here. You need to respect that Corky has more AOE skills to clear a wave, and you're doing fine by trying to auto attack minions to keep up. But Thresh needs to be doing the same thing as well, just so the wave's not constantly shoved to your tower. <laughs> And Chira made a good point, like, as Irelia, not only are you going to miss nothing there, but you're going to get pushed in her tower, and Irelia, with her Q, is really, really good at last hitting under the tower. Yeah, especially when so. you took all that mana flasks and stuff, you'll be able yeah. to keep doing that. So don't be afraid to just back off, and you're not going to miss a ton of CS, and you're going to not die, so it's worth <laughs> So, Greg is maybe not going. The, uh... Hey, look at that. About a minute and a half. Yeah. <laughs> That's not good. Okay. So, oh, uh, it's back. We're good. Never mind. For now. Um, in the mid lane, Azir's getting out farmed really hard by Ari. Nice grab there by Thresh. I don't, I don't know if I would have gone back in. Oh, he makes it out. But especially the second time. Don't go back in. Okay. 
Um, in the mid lane, Ari's got 27 CS to Azir's 20. I guess he forced her back, or she forced me to him back or something, because he's down in experience. But Azir's one of those champions who's just crazy strong late. He does a lot of damage from really far away. So it's okay, like early, he could still be really potent just with his ability to poke from so far back, but um, you're, you want to farm up early. I consider him a herbivore, but... Mm -hmm. Okay, so really, oh, I heard a hook, it didn't land. Placing the pink ward there when you're going to be shoved out constantly, you're just saying, you're just letting Gragas take it. Yeah, you're giving gold. Especially when you're red side in the top lane, you have a great place to put it already when you're... You can put it in your tri brush. Yeah. Yeah, but besides that death, I mean, she's doing okay. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, definitely pull that ward back to your tri brush because it's a much... Yeah, it'll, it'll be there for a long time. Yeah, but he could easily kill it where it is now. If he checks in your tri bush, the only thing is like your jungler could be there and so it's risky for him to check in your tri bush. Yeah. And I mean your jungler could be back here too, but it's much closer to his turret. Alright, so Ari seems to be going Morellonomicon. Mm -hmm. And Azir probably as well, but he might be grabbing a Things it could go either way. If either of them were to get in the things, I don't really know Azir that well, but I would say I'd rather see him. Ooh, nice hook! He pu pushes him back though. Brom, so just in the right place though. That was great read from Brom. Like as soon as Thresh Hook went in, he's like, "Oh, I can block all the damage that you know Ezra's gonna put out." Yeah, that was well done. Um. Corky, go ahead and put a little more damage once you know you're getting that stun onto Grash. Go ahead and mm -hmm. throw something else at him, too. Yeah, at this point, because Ezreal and Thresher are kind of low, if I'm either Corky or, or um, Brom, start standing in points where Thresh will be able to hook you. Let him go, because he's gone in on every hook. You know, try to bait it out, because I guarantee he will go for it. Yeah. And oh, stun. Dead. One for one. Yep. I it thought she does get live. fifty more gold though. Yeah. And well, they both have teleport up by that time. But the wave's pushing in her favor, so I don't know if it still will be by the time she gets up. Yeah, I guess so. Um. We still see this uh, jungle Syndra, who's been DC a bit. It put her a tiny bit behind, oh, but not much. Hold on. She, she oh, got no, some height. She's fine. Um, she's six now, so she can just come in and blow someone up. Okay, great. Yeah, this is a good time to do dragon. It is. They just um, went back. They have their bot lane here. They don't know that yeah, Syndra's not in the area, but <laughs> they don't have any. They, they don't have any bot lane pressure. It. Yeah. But yeah. It, it's work. It's gonna work out. It's fine. They know yeah. the bot not there, so. And they they have vision on mid. Yeah. The only thing to say about them is like it'd be good to have it, the area swept first. Yep. But and other than that, yeah. And there goes the pink ward. Yep. <laughs> I think in the end it stayed just as long as a regular ward. Yeah. It just costs more money. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, good, good call from Nautilus. I think he's the one who called the dragon there. Yeah, it looked like it to me. But just because he was already headed that way. Okay, and here's a, a dead Nautilus. And <laughs> Syndra can't go anywhere. Awesome. Yeah. But yeah, that's exactly what that Syndra is made to do. Syndra jungle is kind of cool. Yeah, I've never seen it before, but and it looks like it's not, it's not not working. It's not not working. It, I'd be lying if I said you know this is working uh, great because I mean it's 
it says them in that works too, great but yeah we, but we need to but see that was just more different. being in the right place at the right time yeah more as making the plays yourself I but I mean I'll give credit she has not died in the jungle yet it's been close a couple times but... it has been um we'll see so nice uh, nice by Aurelia putting a lot of damage on um but I think yeah, Gratis took a little bit too much. He can be okay with, when you're that far ahead. You can be okay with a trade that's not great, but that was too much. Not a whole lot of focus going in there. Corky could have valked in at that point because you know you have the man advantage. You're going to be fairly safe. Ooh, <laughs> um, taking an unnecessary shot there, but. Uh, Syndra really isn't that potent pre-ult. Now she has it. Yeah. But... I don't think it was out there for that gank. No, it wasn't. Yeah, no, bottom lane's in a really bad spot. Yep. All this doesn't have his ult either, though. They, they should just get out here. If he did get caught, they could turn and kill threat. Ooh! <gasps> Kill Thresh, oh, Thresh, kill it. Thresh, kill Thresh, Corky. Oh, I, I, yeah. Could have turned. I was, I was waiting for the, for the execute. Got close again. Oh. Uh, alas. Yeah. So Gragas has been doing really w well with his lead up in top. Yeah, he's doing a great 30 job. Thirty CS above. And the kill up. This, yeah, counteracted right in the mid lane. With Ari being thirty CS above. Yeah. I'd like to see this Ari do more with roaming. She has not really gone. She hasn't gone anywhere yet. Yeah. Especially with like Aurelia herself isn't that far behind. It would really benefit her to be going up the top lane. Oh, it's so annoying. Yeah. <laughs> Gragas, that's a good move, but you're too low on mana to make that happen. Aurelia, you were fine. You could have just walked back. Keep track of mana. He didn't have ignite. He didn't have any mana. Um. So it ended up working out for Gratis because I really wasted her ignite, but doesn't mean it's the right move. Keep track of your mana before you flash in for kill. If you're if you can do mental math, you can just scroll over your abilities that you want to use and add them up and see if you have enough mana. Yeah, it's, Kill. it's something you need to be watching for, like even just like a general sense, like, oh, I'm at 50% mana or like 25% mana, especially in the game. Early game, most champions will still be able to get off a full rotation at 30% mana. Yeah. But yeah, you know, once you get dipping below that, you need to be watching out. Thresh going for Boots of Swiftness. That's it's, not normal. It's not bad, actually. Considering their lane. Considering the lane that they have, you know, it reduces <laughs> not the... Not my favorite. It, it reduces the slows, which... Besides the knockup is the only CC they had to worry about. It's not terrible. Like, the only reason I don't like it because boots and swiftness are hella expensive. Compared to what you normally get, which is yeah. mobility. It's 200 gold more for those. Um, yeah. Plus, um, I just don't, I, I can see on a jungler, I get it on junglers, um, but, depending on the jungler, but, I just, it's, I, I can't hate it too, like, I, I, it's not gonna stop the it's stun. It's not the best. It's not gonna stop, I really stun, it's not gonna stop Sindra stun, it's not gonna stop Ari stun. No. I mean, all, the only slows that are coming out are from Braum. Yeah. Here you go, Gragas. Now if you had that flash. <laughs> Does he have his, he has his ulti. There it is. Yeah, nice. Well played, well played. And, yeah, like we are saying, if Ari... Now it's sort of getting a little bit more out of hand. But I, Ari can still turn around that top lane matchup. Yeah. I really don't mind um, 
the Gragas build up top, but I I do think Roa would have been much more effective. I agree. Yeah, like looking at their lineup, they would have been better off with a uh, like a secondary tank besides Nautilus. Because you have two people, uh, Azir and Ezreal, that are going to be able to put out a large amount of consistent damage. You're not looking to get a whole lot of burst damage. Um, so if you're able just to survive in these fights and protect these other two carries, uh, you'll find yourself lasting longer in the fights overall. Yeah, Azir does crazy damage already. It's, it's insane. <laughs> I hate being an AD carry against Azir because you think, oh, he's just a maid. He can't 100 to 0 man, with two abilities instantaneously. Uh, but, you know, late game, he, he, he does that. Let me see that. <laughs> As all Blocked by the Braum shield. Oh my goodness. Exhaust on the Braum. Oh. Rush saves the day. Oh, that made no sense. Get. Gragas. Oh, nope. Oh, no. Yes! Oh, God! Oh, Rush. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay, while you were watching that, I was watching his real fail. I think he. Yeah, he had his ward. Like, you get a place to ward in the up. brush there. Now, Relay is coming up. She's, she could clean that up, uh, but she's not going to be able to because the Gragas is slow. Um, wow, that was kind of all over the place. But she should be able to get this turret. She should stay. Yeah. Or dragon. Get dragon. Yep. Um, okay. Gragas, um, I think he probably already realizes this, but he threw his ult and then eat into the bush that he threw his ult into. So he blew the people out of the bush and then eat into it. <laughs> he should have um, thrown his Q and ult into the bush and then eat after if, if one of them lived that. Um, but I'm not sure if he had Q up, but at least just ult and then wait for someone to come out if they live and then eat them. But you're going to automatically miss your well, E. We're going to have a fight first. again here. Cool. So She going red straight for her. Um, Blue's gonna try and steal it over the wall, but they're not gonna be able to. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Red move mid and take the turret. Yep. All mid. All mid. All mid. You have a huge wave. Two are down. All of you are up. Syndra has Especially her ult. Especially two have shown bottom already. The yeah. Still has should not be bottom. Yeah. They're. Syndra should not be. Like, oh shit. If if Corky had come, they could have gotten the tower and maybe even a second. I'm not sure about that, but at least won a team fight easily afterwards. Um, if they're doing dumb stuff like that, don't go in three versus one. Even if you're ahead, but you're behind. Too much. And your team, you gotta watch the mini map and know where your team is. Maybe your team should have been there, maybe not, but they weren't. And that's what matters. It doesn't matter. It matters what it actually is, not what should be or should not be. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't. I wasn't really paying attention that well to say whether like going in there with your team would have been the right decision, but going there by yourself is the wrong decision. Yeah, because they already had two down. I mean. It would have taken too long for the rest of the team to be up there. Yeah. So it was, yeah, it was, it was lost the second you guys moved up towards bottom. So we see Ezreal going blue this game. Um, um it's okay this yeah. game. It's not like a oh, definitely go blue this game or a, oh, it's terrible. Yeah, it's okay. Well played. I, overall, I think I would have rather seen the Trinity Force. Yeah, I think so too. I think he could have gotten an AP item or something, yeah. an MR item. And that, that being said, I mean, it's not a bad bad build going in blue this game. Yeah. Um, He's going to get that arm. He already has that armor. 
so that's good. But I want to see. Oh, nice! Scra Scragus is really good. Mm -hmm. Um, I would like to see. Well played. I would like to see Ezreal pick up like a MR item, even if it's like a Maw or something. But some type of MR item late because there's. Yeah. Just, I want to see. Okay, when I when I say that, what I really mean is I want Blue Team to build a lot of MR. Yeah. Yes, there's Irelia, but Syndra, Corky, Ari, you have double AP and a Corky, so. That Braum has been really on point with his heals. Like, in that, he completely negated all of Desert, Ezreal's damage that game, in that, that fight. Yeah. It's a good game. Yeah. No it's close. clear winner yet. That's something you always have to be aware of. <laughs> Tower don't give two shits. <laughs> Just chillin'. Okay, I think Knot's going Righteous Glory. Yep. Good item for him. I never see it. Yeah, I mean... For what it is, you're banking a lot. It is very situational. Like you only get it when you do need that extra engage. Because for the money, for pure stats, you could be getting a lot better items. Yeah. I really has got her power spike now with her Trinity Force. She needs to go straight tank now. Yeah, and we saw she was able to burst down on Dragus at that time. Yeah, I didn't see what their starting healths were, but. She was winning that fight. Um, uh, Gragas, you better get out. Yeah. And goodbye. Should have gotten out earlier. You see that she's gonna kill the tower. You gotta think about what's happening next. Yep. Um. Also, I would like to see Irelia get MR as well. A lot of AP on both teams. We should see some abyssals coming out. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, there's more on the uh, red side overall, I think. Yeah, 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 definitely. Well, actually, no, I think there's more on blue. Well, I don't know. Blue has a lot too, because they have Azir. As I mean, their only AD is Ezreal. Where red side has Irelia and Corky. Even though Corky does both. I don't know. Both of them have a lot. Mm -hmm. We should see a lot of MR. So if you are going the blue Ezreal route, you want to finish up your, uh, your Manamune. Yeah, Manamune as quickly as possible. Yeah. Just so you can stack it a little faster. It gives you a, a good bur a good better spike in power than uh, finishing the uh, um, Iceborne Gauntlet. Just because you you are still like in AD carry, so you do rely on auto attacks, and completing that gives you a lot more damage. Yeah, but I always get that before I even get my gauntlet. Yeah. Ooh, that Rom blocking the hand, the Ezreal. Yeah. I don't know if Ezreal has gotten a single ult off this team because of that Rom. There we go. Looks like blue. Uh, blue should be cleaning this up now. Uh, don't go back in, Gragas. It's so risky. That's so risky. So now they have a choice of either mid or top turret. Top turret is shoving towards them. Gragas is fearless here. Sometimes dauntless. This seems foolishness. Um, let's see. Dragon is up. We have blue team with uh, one dragon, and then red team ha also has one dragon. Okay. So, this one honestly isn't huge, but. Yeah, two isn't big, three is good. Yeah, three is big. Fours, not 
a big deal. It helps you kill. It actually is really noticeable when you're like a mid laner taking blue buff on your own. Mm -hmm. I get four, but it's not huge. Five is huge. One, three, and five are huge. So blue team should be just trying to go and disrupt. The teleport is down, so it is four. As real, come on. You gotta leave the goal on the floor. Neither jungler was there. Yeah. That's so risky. Oh my goodness. Nice Ezreal ult though. Red team's still uh, leading this in gold. Greg is finally false. This is a really good game. I'm really enjoying watching this one. Yeah. Um, Lots of stuff going on. Yeah, Greg is really carrying this team right now. Um, he really needs to. He's really waiting for his teammates to, like Azir and Ezreal, to come through and start dealing their damage. Looks like Ezreal is finally going to finish that mirror mana, our mana immune. Um, however you say that. And then. It's. Ari's mirror real strong. mana is the upgraded form. Yeah. Mana Mune is the. Just one you buy. And then, besides Ari being fed, it's pretty distributed around the the red team. Um, but yeah. I really want to see uh, like a better team fight. We haven't seen... So like in that, in that last one as well, Like as soon as they saw that the red team was going for Dragon, Ezreal needed to get off and go uh, towards them. <laughs> I think um, Azir could have gone in earlier. He did have his ultimate available, and you can like block them out of the pit to make sure that they're not able to get Dragon instead of just using it at the last second. Yeah, <laughs> that would have been hilarious. <laughs> we haven't talked about ward coverage either games really too much, but um, Red definitely doing a lot better job. Yeah, red's board coverage, especially in their tops, in their red side jungle, is crazy. That's good. Oh. Okay. Actually, they have really good on the top side. I guess they're prepping for Baron. Um, that's really, really, really good. Yeah. We'll see what they do with it. Interesting to see not just kind of. Pushing by Split pushing, so. yeah, I don't like that. I want to see not join his team. Yeah, yeah. If I'm not right now, okay, he is going back. That's fine, I guess. Um, let's see what he buys when he gets back. Okay, he finishes his Sunfire Cape. He did get. He did go Roa, not. Oh, he went Roa. Righteous. Oh. I do love Roa. I must admit. It's. It was pretty late, but. Yeah, I. Getting roll late not good. It's just like on any of that last game, it's... You're getting it way too late for it to be effective as a, like a power spike. Yeah. I, I would have much rather seen the Righteous Glory. It's just so... I, I just love it. I know, I know it's bad, but... I don't care, I, die, I do it anyways. What, Roa? I do row a late. Yeah. Because once it gets its stacks, again, yeah, okay, it might not get to its stacks, but its stacks are crazy good for money, the money it costs. Uh huh. So I'll, I'll buy it second item sometimes, but I don't like to do it too much after that. I still find myself doing it just because I love the item so much, and I know it's bad, but I do it. And it depends, like, where your team is in the game. If you know you're going to have to f have, like, a contested objective soon while you're waiting for those to stack, you're putting your team at a disadvantage. But you know, like, if you know, like, the next 10 minutes or so are going to be kind of lazy and you can afford to wait for that to charge up, then you can, then you, can you know, sort of buy it. Blue team's turret has been destroyed. Okay. Dragon's kind of slow down <laughs> in terms of yeah. like item developing. But, uh, CG in this middle turret's gonna be fairly difficult. 
there's a lot of wave clear on the other side, so what they can try to do is force um, the other team to split up. Or um, they could just go bottom. If you're ever looking for an inner turret, just go. <laughs> Again, with his shield. One for one so far, the drags it down. He can make sure he's not so that he can do it. Then we've got the other team to go two more. Uh, overall, three for one for the red side. The red side it just has so much drag here. It's not going to lose it on purpose. I mean, it's just going to happen because he's the one who won this land. Uh, you have to turn your mic up a little bit, or I'm sorry, my way. I'm I'm yeah, my sickness is coming through. Okay. Um, Gragas is kind of has a lot of the money, and he went down first, so they really couldn't do much without him after that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> just too confident. You gotta consider what each champion can do. It's hard to do. Oh that. boy! Yes, see. Oh, nice. See, you gotta consider what each champion can do. <laughs> that first auto was gonna do a lot. Yeah, I was thinking that was a bad choice for Thresh to go in. I didn't see Ari's health. Yeah, she was pretty low, but mm -hmm. once once she hit him with his ult, once he hit her with the ult, it was she was really low. Yeah. After that. Excuse me. Sorry. <sighs> So, this is red team really taking control of the game now. <laughs> this is a problem. Uh, I I may I don't know. Maybe he put that ward down. I must have missed it. So that's three dragons now. Yeah, so they get that movement speed boost, which is really nice. All right. So looking at the game here, what can blue team do to kind of come back? Um. Well, one thing, Ezreal just ulted Dragon, and he saw that it wasn't there, so he can type in... He knows that they were just doing it, so he can type in, okay, approximately, uh, you know, I would say 38, 45. If I were him, just because you want to put it a little bit earlier, than, better put earlier than late, so they can know when the next Dragon is, because they, if they can get a Dragon off, that would be awesome. Also, picking up, uh, getting a pick, and then forcing something off of that would be really, really good for them. Uh -huh. Like getting a pick and then taking a tower. Um, uh, Ezreal's power spike will be once he finishes his last whisper, he's gonna start doing a lot of damage. Yeah. Uh, I, mean, I don't know. At this point, like it takes a, Ezreal to get more flat damage, like a um, blade of the ruin thing, to hit that next big power spike. Yeah. Nice grab. He didn't go in on that. Huh. He was pretty low. <laughs> yeah. I'm just surprised he's gone in on every single other one. Yeah. Um, okay, so blue kind of won that fight. Like, yeah, red's gonna have two people here, but they should be able to get. As long as Gregson doesn't take like a ton of poke, they should be able to get this uh, turret. But I guess it's not gonna happen. Oh, there we go. Nice. Ian, Ezreal, good. Good, good. Get the turret. Yep. Okay, you see that teleport? Back off. Back off, back off, back off, back off. Alright, they did get the turret. If if red team had fought in um, home guards, blue would have been really screwed there, but it, it's actually really working out for them. Blue making a nice little comeback here. Azir really starting to hit hard. Starting to get there. I mean, he doesn't have he's like very any... behind. Yeah, but like compare his damage now to the last team fight. Yeah, it's it's a big difference. He's still not doing crazy damage by any stretch of the imagination, but he he got yep. good call to rotate a top. That's exactly what they need to do. Yep. But they need to be put careful. wards. They, they need Thresh to stop farming mid and put yeah. wards. So they can get vision. Uh, they do need to be careful. Dude. Yeah. If they had all gone, I think they could have gotten it. Azir yeah. can do a ton of damage to a turret right away with his little. Yeah, I mean the turret was almost dead going in there. Cheat thing. Yeah, really don't do that to the uh, melee minions. If you uh, queue to the back line, 
you will kill them and you'll be able to get a reset off. So you can instantly get onto them. Oops. And Nautilus just wants to split push. The way Aurelia just shot her blades reminded me of Calculus. It was yeah. like a tiny little change. I don't know, it just reminded me of a shape that from calculus. Alright, I'll, I'll <laughs> take your word for it. Sorry, nerding out over here. Yeah, just a little bit. Okay. <laughs> so at this point, I think Blade of the Ruin King would have been a fine item for Ezreal over going a BF sword item. Because you know, your best choice for that would be, I don't think, he probably didn't have CDR, so he's probably going to be going the, uh, oh, Essence Reaver. Uh, I mean, like, if you don't have runes for it, you're fine, whatever. But it really pays off to get CDR runes if you're playing Blue Ezreal. Or any Ezreal. Or plenty of other people. Yeah. You should be... Yeah, running 10% runes. Cooldown reduction. You, and then you get Bloodthirster or Gork instead. He's got, let's see... 10. He's at 30 right now. Yeah, so he's running... Um, 10, 25. So he has the 5 from Masteries. Right. But yeah, but, another... You can... I mean, you can get... Um, you can get 15% from runes if you wanted to, but yeah. So 10% isn't too hard to get. Yeah. Definitely. And I run 10% on a couple pages, I think. Yeah. And when you have that, you're able to spend more of your gold on overall better items, except for just instead of just going for the cooldown reduction. Because since the rest of the team's starting to get a little bit tankier, and your Q does proc off of the... And your Q will proc the Blade of the Ruin King. It makes it a really good buy. <laughs> That's so funny to see people bouncing off that. Okay, sorry. Um, That's not the way they wanted to go. Yeah, Blue really didn't want to start a fight. There. When you, seen four, you see the four. I mean, in, before you saw that, you didn't have vision. Look at red's vision compared to blue, I mean. Yeah. Ezreal, turn off your, um, your mana when you're not fighting. Thank you. <laughs> As if he heard me immediately and changed it. So, it's still pretty even. Like, this could really go either way. Mm -hmm. Um, getting longer and longer death timers. We're not to that point where- Ooh, no, 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 no. What? Goodbye. I don't know what it- I don't know. He was looking for dragon. That was good on Ari to kind of bait it out. Yeah, that was a really intelligent move. Um, if- Just ward over the wall there, I guess, if you're really looking. And if not, you're too low to do it without mm -hmm. the other team being dead. Corky's like really strong right now. He does fall off later, but yeah, that's probably not gonna get to that. Oh my goodness, I think Syndra may have DC. Yeah. yeah, more than any other KD, 80, 80 carry, um, Corky falls off after his second item. Like he'll still yeah. do plenty of damage, but and he'll keep doing more damage, but compared to the rest of the people, yeah, rest of the people 80 will catch up to him pretty quickly. So, we're seeing, it looks like, I mean, it's not saying that Syndra DC'd me, she just wasn't paying attention. But, Blue getting this dragon, this is gonna make dragon number two for them, I think. Yep. So it's two to three. It is. Yeah, this is staying really even. Uh, Syndra is a meal up in five seconds, we'll get to see if she is dead or alive. I mean, with us or not. Yeah, looks like she was just distracted then. 
There's a huge wave top for blue side, um, but they're not really in position to use that. Yeah. They get him. You know, the blue team has the harder time here. They have all the other turrets dead. Oh, except for they, they didn't get that top one yet. It's almost dead. Um, but trying to set up to breach that uh, inhibitor turret becomes really hard. You don't want to try to overcommit too much to one lane because it's, 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 you can throw fairly easily at this point of the game. Yeah, definitely. A couple of deaths here could spell the end of the game yeah. if it's so, played properly. So you want to be watching more for... Ooh. Whoa, he goes so deep! Thresh too much. I really is not the person you want to be catching on ulting. Um, save that if for if you hit a carry or a group, or you can get into a group. But just on the one, especially Irelia, who doesn't get affected as much because of her tenacity. I wonder if we're gonna be seeing a Zerat portal. Nautilus mm -hmm. did pick up the Raptor cloak. I hope I so. Have, I have never seen it being built yet, and I really want to see it. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. I kind of assume doesn't that also build into? It builds into Ulmrecker as well. Either one would like, kind of anti-towering items, huh? Oh, this is like okay. Yeah. They had a, a minute there where Azir had blocked off that way. The carries had to go around, mm -hmm. but I guess you're not really gonna tower dive the tanks. You have the uh, gates there. It's not a huge yeah. deal. Bias. Yeah. Okay, so Ezreal's now going bloodthirsty. Okay, I'm fine with that. Yeah, uh, I, I want to see him get a Maw or a Guardian Angel um, or a Banshee's Veil or Material. I want to see him off. I Good. would over. I think Banshee's would be his best option. Here. Yeah, I agree. Banshee's or Material if he's good with the Material. Yeah. So you can cancel the Ari charm and then escape. Yeah, if you're good with it. <laughs> you just gotta remember yeah. to use it. And he is going some MR now. He's good. Oh, don't throw that blind. Oh, wow. He's going that row actually gives not a lot of damage. She escaped. Did she flash there? Yeah, she flashed. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I guess I don't like seeing people getting Essence Reaver when you're going Blue Eyes Real. Their argument is, you know, if I have Essence Reaver, I can keep my Mirror Mana active up all the time, which yeah. you can. But the way that it works is you'll keep yourself sustained at around 40% mana. And when you're doing that, it, it hurts your Mirror Mana active overall when you're only at 40% mana. Because you're only doing you're doing less than half the amount of damage you could be doing with it, and just because you know mirror mana eats up your mana so quickly when you're using it, yeah. you're not going to be able to sustain at high levels of mana, yeah. even with the uh, essence reaver. Okay, so they got three pushing bots. Yeah, if you're going to put that turret up, you have to be ready to defend it for a seed. <laughs> So uh -huh. wait till the rest of your team is around. Yeah, that's, that's a big cooldown. You just blew. Okay, Greg is still pushing time. Both eighty carries onto their last items here. These blue guys really got caught out, so they just need to run and kind of stall. They're doing a really good job of that. Let your team get the inhibitor while you get away. Or try to. Yeah, they're still chasing for it. Dragon's still alive. Azir should be. This turret should be dead. Go, go, go. Azir? Doesn't he have an ability that just clicks on a turret, does like crazy amounts of damage? Yeah, that's his uh, arise. Yeah. Because he can't use. His soldiers yeah, just 500 attack. damage to the turret. Yeah. So that was good. That overall, was really good. Yeah, it was good. What were you gonna say overall? Yeah, overall it was good. Like, I mean, maybe they. I don't think they planned for that to happen, but that's a good reaction. Yeah, it was a great reaction. That was really 
Cerebral high level play from blue team. Um, Ezreal picking up the red buff. Hopefully he's gonna drop a ward on Baron. So I don't think they have it. But I guess not. Um, red team is shoving mid now. Yeah. Whereas Aurelia is doing it. This is exactly what Aurelia needs to do. Is split pushing right now because she does have the teleport available. Yeah. And with the uh, Blade of the Rune King and Trinity Force, it's what she's really best suited to do. We're seeing things happen now. These are good plays from both teams. Um, don't need to be going out there. You can't defend it. Just let. Just admit that you can't defend it and let it go. Blue team's inhibitor has been destroyed. I'm interested to see how the Zoran portal will work. So he did get it. Yeah. All know, right. It's it's an interesting item. It has 50 armor, 50 magic resist, 100% base. Again. Yeah. Go four dragons. Yeah. Yeah. Sonar proc said his W used to not proc on turrets. Yeah. Uh, but on the PVE. His soldiers could attack the tower from outside its range, so I guess they. Yeah, they, that's, that's their compliment, they made. Yeah. Ezreal just going ham with it. He finally got his ult off. Yeah. He's happy. <laughs> so, one thing we haven't talked about yet, brought up in the chat about trinkets, none have been really upgraded yet. Yeah. And especially since. Oh! With the trinket changes, you really, especially as jungler, you can get it so early. Yeah, well, my favorite change is for AD carries. Now, I don't like getting the um, Farsight Orb, and that may change when they uh, change Farsight, Farsight Orb again, like they have in the PvE. But for right now, your best thing is to upgrade the um, uh, ward. Yeah. Because for 250 gold, you can keep two to three wards up at all times. Unless you're the support. Yeah, unless you're the support. Yeah, no, I'm not I'm talking like specifically for the AD carry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that that portal? What's the cooldown on making one of those? 151 Pre seconds, I think. That's a random number of seconds. And it only works like if it actually makes it to the tower without dying, so that did nothing. Yeah. Why is it a. 150s. I was thinking it was 151. Yeah, 150 seconds. Okay, that makes more sense. Two and a half minutes. Um, but overall, let's... like, you still want to get plenty of sweepers. Like, at least two to three. On yeah. your support, um, top laner, and uh, jungler. But if I'm jungler, I'd rather keep the three ward thing. Yeah. I, it, it's... I, I say jungler just because... You're a bit safer trying to clear out wards than your mid laner probably is. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, having two to three is good. We don't see any on the uh, blue team, but two on the purple team. Yeah. Maybe as jungler you would get the wards early and then trade it for a super. <laughs> but I upgrade the ward to. All chasing Gragas again, but they're not gonna get anything off of this. Okay, so it's here. Um, nice pull by Thresh. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Um. Shove. Ooh. I don't know what to do there's, here, I guess. <laughs> yeah, there's not a whole lot they can really push. They, yeah. They could do Baron. They need to protect their bot, I guess is what I would say. But you only really need to send one back for that. Yeah. I really could have grabbed it. Because I think their best bet would have just to do Baron. Yeah. Because there weren't they any blades that pushing. Braum was really low, though. It would have been just if it would have been Corky and Ari. I don't know if they could have done it. Wasn't Aurelia available? She was really low too. Oh. Well, she could have based and then just teleported back in. Oh yeah, yeah, that would have been the right move. 
Um, but someone need to clear bot too. Yeah. I guess she. I don't know. She could have based. And they killed. can still do it here. There's still another 20 seconds till they're up. Okay. So it all worked out in the end. So they need to clear the wards. Drag is being teleported. <laughs> yeah, Rictator, just go ahead and walk around that time. Um, don't don't put the pink ward in the back and then come around. Just come around and put the pink ward in the back. I mean, in the pit, wherever. Um, I'm not sure about getting... I, I just started playing Aurelia. But I'm not sure about going Bork second on Aurelia. I think I would have just seen a, it, especially with this team, just a tank. Yeah. If she was, you know, really up at head and able to split push effectively, yeah, that's fine. But yeah, the, but the she fact wasn't. That it took her so long to get, yeah, just that uh, Trinity Force. It would have been better to go with more uh, tankier. Mm -hmm. Especially when you don't really have another tank. I mean, Brom, but I guess by this point, Brom's pretty tanky. Fairly so, yeah. I tried out that I tried out the build she did just now earlier today. And I tried out two ways, so one with and one without pork. And I preferred the tanky, but I always prefer tanks for myself to play. Blue team's turret has been destroyed. Okay. Uh. All right, so um, Ari, oh nice. Gragas, he, Gragas is like really important to the team. And he's playing like a tank, and he is pretty tanky, but he doesn't need to be in the front like that. He needs to kind of come in on the side or something. Ari is just doing work here. This should be game. Yeah, it was a good game. It was. One of the better games we've had recently. Very even throughout. Some good play, some good team play. If Blue is somehow able to hold this off. I guess um, I didn't think about that. Um, guy in chat saying that Aureli could have gone for Wits End. Yeah. It's definitely Which another like option. Team. It's a pretty. For the item and for the situation, it's a pretty cheap item. It's 2400 gold, I think. Yeah. And it does seem to be well with Aurelia. It will yep. shred magic resist and give it to herself. Yeah, I, I agree. That could have worked. Yeah. It looks like. This is the end of the game. Yeah. I'm... Blue's coming up, though. Gragas and. Just as long as Blue doesn't go in and die before their team gets up, it should be fine. To hold it off. Okay, yeah, all three inhibs are down, so it's going to be a good game, but... They just need to... If I'm red, I'm just going to go grab Dragon and then come win. Mm -hmm. That'll be your fifth, so... Or just in Corky to get Dragon and go win. <laughs> Corky with double... Lifesteal items. Yeah. I would have rather seen a B veil or a GA. Mercurial. Or GA. Yeah. Now, Cork, you won't go get blue because you have no mana. And then win. Go get blue while you're waiting for C. <laughs> Thank you. What's up? Uh, let's see. Two dragons. I think they have four. No, they have five. They're, they're five stacked. Yep. So now they go in. And all they have to do is like... I would go top or bottom. Um, and just... Or it mean, doesn't matter how you come into the base. But kind of stay top side or bottom side. So that the minions can kind of push the opposite side of you. Mm -hmm. And you're going to win either way. It doesn't really matter. But... Just that damage. From that second dragon is overwhelming. Yeah, and this is it. It's a good game. More entertaining than uh, the last one, I think. But 
So many minions. Yeah, that's just cool. So that's game. After a long wait and a long game on top of that. Oh man. What is it? Yeah, yeah two thirty. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, if this game isn't going to end, I'll end it. <sighs> Guys, we got another game. I'm going to get set up. Uh, I'll be back in a few minutes.